What are the physical signs of female arousal? What happens when a female is sexually excited? Here's when you get sexually aroused, turned on, or excited. Many emotional and physical arousal signals are triggered in your body. Your nerves, blood vessels, brain, and hormones all change in some way. But that's not all. Your thoughts and emotions also come into play when you get turned on. Read on to find out more about what really happens to your body when you're sexually excited, including the physical signs of female arousal that happen in four main stages. Signs of female arousal. Sexual excitement signals include your breasts getting fuller, your nipples hardening, getting erect, your heart rate and breathing getting faster, swelling of your clitoris and your vagina's inner lips, labia minora, having an orgasm climaxing. Everyone is different, but usually your body will go through four stages when you respond to sexual arousal, excitement, arousal, orgasm, and resolution. The four stages of female arousal. Stage one, excitement of ovation. This first stage is where you start feeling sexually excited because of thoughts, words, sights, smells, or touch. You may feel a desire to have sex in this first stage, but this desire may only build up once you're in the second stage of arousal. You might feel the muscles in your body start to tense and your heart rate and breathing get faster. Your breasts may become fuller and your nipples may harden, get erect. You may start thinking about masturbating, which is giving yourself sexual pleasure by stimulating your genitals through touching or rubbing. Stage 2. Arousal Plateau Sexual arousal is when sexual excitement is both thought about and felt in the body. Blood will start to flow to your vagina, making your clitoris and vaginal walls swell. This increased blood flow causes your vagina to produce more lubricating fluid. This is often called getting wet's AIA main telltale physical sign of female arousal. Your muscles will continue tightening and your clitoris will feel very sensitive. Your breathing and heart rate will also continue to increase. Stage 3. Orgasm When you reach the climax or peak of sexual excitement, it's called having an orgasm. Well, just before orgasm, the muscles throughout your body tense up even more. As your orgasm begins, the muscles in your vagina tighten and release, contract in a rhythmical way. An orgasm generally lasts for only a few seconds. During this time, you'll have involuntary muscle contractions and spasms, and your blood pressure, heart rate, and breathing will be at their highest. You'll also feel a sudden, strong release of sexual tension. You may have one orgasm or more than one, multiple orgasms. But it's important to know that you don't need to have an orgasm to enjoy sex. Find the answers to more questions you may have about the female orgasm. Stage 4. Resolution This final stage is where you feel a sense of overall well-being and are completely relaxed. Most often, this stage will come after orgasm, but it can also happen after sexual activity without an orgasm. At this stage, your body will begin to return to its original levels of functioning with your heart rate and breathing returning to normal. Swollen areas will also go back to their original state. You may even feel sleepy. You may be able to orgasm again quite quickly after your first one and have multiple orgasms. This is unlike someone with a penis who can't orgasm again straight after ejaculation. Discover more about the stages and physical signs of male arousal. Going to see a doctor if you have pain during sexual activities problems with arousal, can't reach orgasm, have a low sex drive veto, or are unhappy with your sex life what is known as 
female sexual problems or dysfunction, it's a good idea to speak to a doctor. They will be able to diagnose any problems and offer advice to help you understand your body and your sexual responses. Your sex drive, or libido, may be different from someone else's, and what seems normal to you may be unusual for someone else. You may wonder if your sex drive is too high or be worried when it feels too low, so you may want to know how to increase it. But it's normal for your libido to be higher and lower at different times in your life. Discuss this with a doctor if it's really worrying you. Your questions answered. Is it normal to have a swollen vagina after sex? Sometimes the vulva, the outer parts of the vagina, can be swollen after sex as a result of arousal or friction, but it usually returns to normal. If it doesn't, and you experience other symptoms such as pain inside your vagina or in your lower tummy, or you keep having pain just before, during, or after sex, see a doctor. Why is my private area painful? Pain in and around your vagina and vulva can have many causes such as infection, skin disorders, vaginal dryness, vaginal surgery, or scar tissue. If you feel your vagina throbbing with pain before, during, or after sex, you may have a condition like vulvodynia. If you keep on feeling this pain, it can also lead to you having problems with sexual activity, sexual dysfunction. Because vaginal pain has so many causes and can cause you more pain, it's best to ask a doctor for advice. What's the difference between arousal fluid, vaginal discharge, and cervical mucus? Cervical mucus is a natural fluid produced during your menstrual cycle by glands in and around your cervix. It changes in thickness and consistency as you go through the phases of your cycle. When you're most fertile, this mucus becomes slippery and wet, like raw egg white, and helps sperm travel into your cervix and uterus. You only produce arousal fluid in your vagina when you're sexually excited. This lubrication makes sex easier. Vaginal discharge is a term used for any fluids produced by your vagina, such as cervical mucus and arousal fluid. Key takeaways. When you're sexually excited, a number of things happen to your body in response. Being sexually excited is also called sexual arousal or being turned on. The sexual response to being aroused usually happens in four stages. You may have one or many orgasms, but you don't have to have an orgasm to enjoy sex. You should talk to your doctor if you're unhappy with your sex life or have problems with arousal.